I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our yeah, own... Yeah, In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading yeah. as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate. Stolen the skeleton. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. So, yeah. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? You suck. Then. It's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Well, um... That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well, in your line of work. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. 
Carlyle? She's still alive? Yeah. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself... Hang. Dying. The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. Okay. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Good luck, Nightingale. Welcome. It's this guy. Kills him, so... I don't recognize you, but I said the last of the Nightingales. We were betrayed by I perhaps if I had been more vigilant. I had how do you know of me? The key and Mercer Frey? I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. You've done the guild a great deal. And although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? Yep. I feared she'd be fought. Not from the moment I arrived. The s when Mercer stole. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the pilgrim's path to the enemy. Yeah, 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 yeah
Yeah, I don't know from the dead.
Once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Yeah. Now that the Ebonmir has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. Thank you. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Okay. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the pride. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the Agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Monsieur. See to the key stayed this time, won't you? Okay. Um. I'm glad you were able to bring the key. Why is this here? Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a hey, hey, we, we. Now, your life as a nightingale begins. The guild had... I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. Okay. Your pockets brimming with coin, and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves, and we're damn good at what we do. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Carlyle? See you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid. Once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Yes, Nightingale? What is it? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? 
Farewell. Eyes open and walk with the shadows. Okay, this is this talking here. We are out. We are out. Yeah, we are this. Yeah, we are going to come get our forever. For now. See you later. Bye.